I ain't saying you can't do what you want to do. I just ain't going for it. <laughs> What's up, Scorpio? Celeste, <clears throat> who's coming towards you? All right, so let's see who's coming towards you. This is 1028 Awakenings, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. What's up, Scorpios? All right, let's see who's coming towards you, Scorpios. Let's see. I got to get my hair done. I don't know if I want to get braids. Braids are so permanent, y'all. I never do that, you know, but I have to because now that I got this pool in my life, y'all, my baby is like, we, we got to go to auntie house. I'm like, dang, again? Okay, indirect. Communication leads to mind reading. All right, so you got somebody coming towards you that be like, <sighs> to be honest with you, Scorpio, don't let nobody confuse the shit out of you. If somebody want to take you out on a date, they need to make a time. They need to make a reservation. They need to make a place, okay? Don't let nobody just tell you to pull up or do whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Somebody could be coming to you with that energy. Just kick it to the curb. I, I Honestly, if you day in, I think you over it. Communication leads to mind reading. That could just be them watching you. You also got a hidden stalker. Uh, yeah, so you also got a hidden stalker. So somebody is watching you. This could Y'all got to be careful with dating, okay? So it looked like y'all went on a couple dates. Y'all could have put your energy, mixed up your energy with a couple of people. Whoever that is, they want to be in your energy, all right? Some of these people, you've already told them they can't be in it, or you blocked them, or you stripped them from your energy, but they still want, they, they seen that it was like a good opportunity to really fuck with you the right way, but they didn't come at you the right way, you know what I'm saying? But now they're just watching you, they just stalking you, they paying attention to everything that you got going on. Okay, but they ain't really revealing themselves. I don't think you should be scared of this person. This is just somebody you don't talk to no more. Okay, um, but they really did like you, but they just came too hard at you with like sexual energy. Like, I don't know what's going on. I think that, you know, maybe people, people feel like, I don't know. Okay, but whatever this is, they came too strong. It was, I'm, I, it wasn't sexual that I was feeling. I was feeling like heavy aftershave or heavy cologne but to me it was sex but um you know i just strongly feel like it could have been like whatever it was it was just too much like too much boasting about your car too much boasting about your lifestyle too much boasting about your riches like don't nobody want to hear about that shit okay like nobody wants to hear about if you have good credit bad credit like i mean there are people who want to hear that but whatever this is it was overbearing okay uh, somebody was just putting it on way too thick, all right? And you may have had to let that person go. That hidden stalker is watching you. Now, there's also somebody else here that's watching you too that don't really give you direct nothing. They give you like vague shit and they want you to go off that. Don't deal with nobody who give you no vague shit, even if she a female. If she want to do something, she need to say, hey, I would like to go and do something with you. You should make arrangements. And then it's your time to go handle the arrangements, okay? Like do your job, stay in your place, okay? Because you'll be mad if she showed up and she had a dick, right? right okay so go do your job if you got a dick <laughs> okay and make reservations and do what needs to be done okay yeah for real <laughs> i'm like what is going on with y'all the fit the, the the fisherman fishing fishing describing acts reaching out to multiple people on date i told y'all somebody was on a dating app so somebody's on a dating app all right and they fishing they they throwing their bait out to whoever gonna get it Okay, and whoever getting it, they getting it. You got to be careful. That that sounds like a dirty community dick to me. Okay, so whoever this is, they are on a dating app. They just throwing out, shooting out they shot. Or you could have just been at the house, you know, wanting to go on a dating app. Um, just see who was going to bite back, whatever. Okay, but you got to be careful because some of these people are fucking stalkers. And some of these people just want to hook up and have sex with people. They don't want shit. Okay, and some of these people could just be kind artists, bottom of the day energy. But you a hopeless romantic. Okay, you you feel like you could be sleepless in Seattle. Okay, you, you want to go against all the odds. You want to go on there and find the number one you you want to be matchmaker 2000 i feel you you want a blissful experience even when it's not so this is basically saying like you had hope aspirations in somebody and constantly they kept showing you 
you know, that's not what they were. But Scorpio, you kept admiring it. You kept trying to be, you know, if I show them I'm loyal, if I show, you got to stop this. You got to get out of this energy. All right. You can't be a hopeless romantic so bad that you over here fucking with a stalker and a crazy person. You got to be careful. Okay. Y'all can't want companionship so bad that you let all these people into your energy. Okay. Because it's not good. All right. Um, Y'all got to fall back on the dating apps a little bit too. Because y'all got to vet out these people a little bit better. Whew, Scorpios. All right. That's, these, 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 these do sound like comics. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So let's see what's going on with this hidden stalker. All right. So you got you a little hidden stalker. They watching everything that you do. They really wanted things to work out with you, but I feel like they came on too strong. What's up from the hidden stalker? What they want to say to Scorpio? This is a Scorpio that's actively dating or actively going out or actively talking to people. All right, so the hidden stalker is watching you if you are a tarot card reader. That's fucking hella creepy, okay? And important messages, okay? Um, they miss sending you messages, communicating with you. That's what they miss the most. They miss the communication. So this hidden stalker misses the abrupt communication. Um, you know what I'm saying? They miss talking to you but they do feel like they do talk to you through your tarot card readings or they get readings on you now or you introduce this hidden stalker to the tarot card community and now they're looking at tarot cards they're really interested in this okay all right so let's move to the next one which is the fisherman okay so a lot of you guys could be on dating apps okay scorpio all right. Or you could be dealing with a person who is dealing with a lot of people on dating apps or somebody feel like, oh, bitch, you on a dating app for real. OK. <laughs> OK. All right. And they want to know what what what's what's going on with you while you on this dating app or what's going on with this person. OK. Nothing. OK. Bullshit. Everybody trying to fuck. <laughs> so no good luck on this dating app at all, Scorpio. All right. You haven't fucked anybody on that motherfucker either. Sexually transmitted disease in reverse. And I guess if you have, you use protection. But it looked like you're not sexually active with no one. A lot of people could be asking you for pictures or nudie pictures. Um, you, you, you haven't really been having conversations, but it has been light. Okay. And um, we got family here. Okay. So a lot of you guys could be getting pressured to get married or to be in a relationship and this is why this person is on this app okay also for some of you guys who are single your baby daddy could be on this app too or your baby mama is on this app so you're gonna be like what they go my baby daddy like what they go my baby mama <laughs> okay so you can see like you, your ex on this app which is hilarious to me that was funny okay but your ex does want to get married to you but you don't want to get married to your ex damn that's fucked up i was at the bottom of the deck also it's just light talking that literally leads to fucking nowhere a lot of random niggas could be asking you to send you a nudie you like what the fuck a lot of people could be sending you dick pics you could be like what the fuck okay that could be very weird you could think this whole thing is like a sex pool and it's just nasty xtd sexually transmitted disease in reverse you could be feeling like this is not and you could be feeling like people are so stupid they think that they're saying that they want to be in a relationship or dating and it's just all reverse psychology it's just dumb all right so it's a lot of people on this app or this is you okay all right let's go to this person here that's reading minds okay so somebody could be mocking you if you a tarot card read like oh bitch you read cards you miss clear ho <laughs> that's funny okay so let's see what's going on with this person all right so a light bulb went off in this person head this person feel like they might have um introduced you to something that was incorrect or they're not giving you the best foot or their best foot forward let's see what the fuck this person want to say oh, okay you don't you and this person don't know nobody so this person is on the other side of town you and this person don't have no don't know nobody in common okay and they like that about you they like that like they can you can have a new perspective of them so whoever this is they want to give you a good perspective of who they are okay that's kind of good scorpio okay oh shit ouch all right this person don't smoke weed this person this person may, I don't know how this person feel about this, but you, one of y'all use marijuana to relax, okay? You eat it, you smoke it, you do something to, you know, dealing with marijuana to help you relax in some kind of way. 
all right i don't know if this person knows that about you i don't know if you shared it but this person and you don't have nobody in common but you do smoke weed to relax you or this person okay this person has asked you for some naughty pictures but you have not given it to them okay so this person tried to bait you and be like hey can you send me some kind of picture or some shit like that and you was like hell fucking no like what's wrong with people y'all okay like I know that we live in a day and age where y'all are overly sexualized, but some of this stuff is just inappropriate, you know? And if you have a daughter, you shouldn't be asking women for pictures to see them in a sexual way. Like, go out and meet that person and get to know that person and see if you want to talk to that person in a sexual way. It's kind of crazy to me, you know? And if you are going to hyposexualize people, fucking go on the internet and hyposexualize them, you know? They're like, no, nah, I want a picture from your phone what's wrong with y'all <laughs> okay so you got to be very careful about this energy and be very careful about sending your private parts to people sending naked parts you don't do these things okay you don't even know these people you give us so much of your soul to complete strangers that you don't even know for what two minutes eight minutes of pleasure okay but y'all most of y'all don't even know what y'all doing sexually you got to stop this y'all okay it's crazy all right you giving too much of your soul away to people who not even worthy of your soul they ain't even worthy of your sperm bruh I ain't even trying to lie to you, okay? We got nudity here in reverse, okay? So you could have told this person no, okay? Uh, but this person is still interested in fucking you. <laughs> it says not interested in sex. They're like, okay, I won't take that picture, but I still want to fuck, okay? So whoever this is, they do want to still holler at you. This person could be divorced, all right? So whoever this is, this person could be divorced, you know, and they could be single. But there's no women, all right? So the other woman is here in reverse. So if there's a dude, he ain't really talking to no other girls but you. And if this is a dude, you know, she not really talking to the other dudes but you, all right? But she do smoke a lot of weed. You're the only person that she's talking to. Um, somebody could be divorced, okay? Or this person's parents are divorced. So they have a real fucked up view of a relationship. I do want to let you know that because they just said that. All right. And even though you told this person that you don't want to give them no nasty picture, it actually made this person more turned on that you didn't do it because they're like, wow, you don't even be giving random niggas your pictures like somebody's putting you through a series of tests. That's fucking stupid. This is the lowest level of series of tests I've ever seen in my life. OK, like but whatever this is, this is how this person vet out people. All right. And it turned this person on as well. And you don't know nobody that this person know. Okay, Scorpios. All right, so the last person we got is the hopeless romantic. Okay, so I know these females. All those probably is niggas, okay? All right, so, okay, so whoever this is, you are a kind of girl or you're kind of feminine energy that wants to just fall in love. You know, you want to be swept off your feet. You want to go downtown to Atlanta and somebody say, hey, I got you a horse and carriage, you know? Y'all, one time, I ain't trying to be funny or whatever, but this horse had gas like a motherfucker i'm like oh my god what is that smell that was like the horse got gas it was just shit and just ash just phew. and i'm like why like come on but you know what's gonna do you know baby got a bad tummy or he ate something bad you know what i mean but boy there ain't one nobody getting on that horse that day because it was just ooh, it was stank that ride was horrible anyway so hopeless romantic whoever this is you want to go do the horse and carriage ride in atlanta or wherever you are you want roses you you want every thing that you want you know you're a girly girl but you will pick somebody who don't exude none of these traits don't have none of these attributes and be like that's the one <laughs> that's the lucky guy i'm gonna marry y'all remember that off beauty and the beast with gaston <laughs> he loved bell bell was like bitch i ain't fucking with you <laughs> bell was like you little stupid ass bitch i ain't fucking with you gaston was like yeah <laughs> anyway this is that kind of situation. We got hopeless romantic against all odds. This is me. That's why I laugh so hard because I'm I'm so much like this. I'd be like, no, I still love you no matter what, okay? So against all odds, this person loves and thinks of you as blissful experience even when it's not. So even though this person, you know, this person has dogged you, they ain't showed you no good side, you know, they, they try to show you a good side, then they dog you again. <laughs> You'd be like, you know what? They're changing. <laughs> You'd be like, you know what? They're expanding. <laughs> okay, you always see the flip side in people, all right but when you gone you gone you know what i'm saying and then this person didn't really know that you know but i feel like that's what happened we got hopeless romantic so this is somebody who's always seeing the upside to a situation even though the shit fucked up let's see what's going on with this one. <laughs> oh, this one was funny y'all 
I seen Gaston. I just knew what he was talking about. Oh, shit. Over it. Yeah. So, Scorpio, you might have left this shit, okay? Over it is here in reverse. So, in some kind of way, you're still on it, okay? You're still on this person, but you could not be there in the 3D, but in your mind, okay? Oh, you know what? In my mind... I'll always be his lady. All right, so there's this song where this girl is not in this relationship with this nigga, but she over here singing songs to this motherfucker and everything. It's like, damn, bitch, is that your nigga or is that her nigga? Because you know that's not your nigga, and she say it in the song that she know it's not, okay? I can't remember all the words to it, but y'all got to find it, okay? Um, maybe it'll come to me. All right, so yeah, commit forever. Okay, so you really wanted to commit to this person forever. In your mind, you saw your you saw yourself getting married to this person. You know, you saw this person telling you that they wouldn't get married to you, inviting all your friends to this engagement. You saw all this shit when you was with this dude, but this dude wasn't getting you none of this shit. This dude wasn't doing that. Well, but with commitment forever, this dude did think that they was going to, they, they did see long-term with you, but in the three-day, they did not present to you that long-term was even offered to you, okay? Ooh, that's kind of fucked up okay so this was mutual for some of you so damn that's too many cards i ain't taking all that cards this person thought about a lot of shit okay so this person thought that they really wanted to be in a commitment with you scorpio we gonna take it but i'm gonna run it through okay but this person felt like they needed a job to be with you shit they feel like they didn't have enough money to fuck with your motherfucking ass it said need a job okay this person could have already had a job they felt like they needed more job this person also thought that you did magic do you believe in magic clearly you do bitch because this person was very concerned about you giving them food or feeding them okay this person also felt like you had other niggas or other women. You know what I'm saying? And they was really concerned about that shit. The only card that this person got in the upright is that the, is that they own you. They really want to fuck with you, okay? But like like I said, they presented you with some real fucked up energy. But in their mind, they your nigga. In their mind, you and them is together, okay? But on 3D, I don't think that's the case, okay? And this person feel like you got other niggas, you got other bitches, you got other shit. And this person definitely watches you on social media for fake profile pictures. And they think you know, you know, but they don't know if you you really know but that's not gonna stop them from fucking doing it either okay this person has tried to make play fucking stupid ass mind games with you all kinds of mental fucking dumb ass games with you and you just you don't even care what own it you own one but the one that you own could be higher dimensional it could be three dimensional it could be six dimensional you could just be on one you could be blocked from very low vibrational activity so that when people do this to you you don't even know because you're busy you don't even know because you you count bands you don't even know because you're doing this but then when you catch up you you know what I'm saying? You like, oh, you was dogging me. Oh, you was doing that. You might catch the shit late or you might be slow on comprehending when somebody is doing something to you that's negative. <laughs> OK, also, that could be because you always focused on your family. OK, or you always focus on making sure your kid is straight or something like that. OK, but something just doesn't compare to you. Like somebody tried to compare the old to the new or the you to the you and it just didn't work out. OK, like nothing compares to you. Like no one compares to you, you like in a league of your own. This is a deep shit. But somebody wore a mask on your ass. OK, because so so my constantly ghosted you and they think about like where are you like who are you so somebody kind of realize like you don't even know this person you don't know this person who they are what their friends are who their best friend is who they what you don't know nothing about this but like this person is just really a ghost to you and maybe scorpio you had to check in with yourself and really realize like you don't know this person you don't have a light you know you have all these emotions to somebody that is a ghost okay and this person is very selfish okay they petty they moody they shifty you like god damn nigga is you a bitch with like not saying you a bitch but just saying like damn you could be on your period so somebody is very moody very shifty you don't know if you're gonna be like this or that this could be this girl you could be like i really like you but damn woman you this way money one minute you that way it's really hard to like peg this girl because she's so shifty you can't really deal with it all right but this is somebody you want to put a baby in i don't understand y'all when y'all do that y'all go through all these emotions with this girl but you still want to have a baby with her so whoever this is they do want to have a family with you they do want to have a baby with you okay they think about getting you pregnant but they do also feel like you real moody you childish and you hella petty okay this person also feel like they don't really even know who the fuck you really are inside like they don't know your friends what you do nothing you know what i'm saying it's like loving a ghost okay but nobody compares to you because you want to legal your own but they do want to have a family with you somebody feel like they play way 
too many games with you. Somebody stalk you on social media, on all platforms. There's nobody else they're interested in. Somebody's scared to eat from your house. And somebody feel like they need a job to fuck with you. And somebody want to be with you forever. They want to put a ring on it. God damn. This all could be a delusion, bitch. And in real life, somebody could be on one, okay? So, you know, be careful because that could be Molly. That could be drugs. Shit could be just hella distorted right here. So, you got to be very careful with whoever this is. I love y'all. Bye. Videos is really private, but we'll sting if you get close. And they rule by planet Mars. They stay determined, then don't go. Don't make a Scorpio strike because they venom pack a punch. So, you better come correct because like a shark, you can't get much. Scorpios get what they want, and what they want is what they get. They appreciate the ones they love. They ain't what the fix shit. They don't really like people switching up. And they can be kind of controlling like, bitch, shut the fuck up. Scorpios are leaders, and they always think ahead. And they also open minded, so you gotta get. Them cred. If you date in the Scorpio and they like you, they will make you happy. They also like a meal, so in the kitchen, no, you can't be like uh -huh. yours are often trendy and they got the best drip. And they do not disappoint, man. You just gotta tap in. Tagging shit this video to a Scorpio. You